I would like to ask you a very serious question. Are you prepared to die? Now, if someone had posed that question to me when I was a young person, say in my 20s, it would have made me uncomfortable. In fact, I probably would have tried to avoid answering or made a sarcastic remark or said something like, I don't plan to die anytime soon. But in reality, I would have been defensive and running from the question because I was not prepared. In fact, I think there are a lot of people in this world who really haven't given adequate thought to that question. In fact, they've dismissed the whole idea of death or tried to push it off into the future and assume that it's something that will not happen, but in fact, it comes to the path of every person in this world. And usually it's not until someone around us dies that we care about, that we are really faced with the question of, how do I deal with death? And you see, there's some people who think that they are prepared to die for a cause or something of that nature, but in fact, they may be quite unprepared to die. Because the only person who is truly prepared to die is a person who is secure in their understanding of where they stand with God Himself. And you see, there are many people in this world who have theistic beliefs, who think that the way that they might please God is by their good works, the good things they do, and that God will look at their life and say that the good outweighs the bad. But in fact, that is not sufficient. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us deserve the judgment of death and the punishment that comes with being separated from God. But in fact, God has made a provision for every person to be prepared both to die and to live. And that provision is found in Jesus Christ Himself. The person who has a humble heart, who comes before God and says, please come into my life. Please forgive me of my sins. That's the person in whom Christ wants to dwell. In fact, if you make a simple prayer asking the Lord to forgive you, to take away your sin, to give you a new life, to fill you with His Holy Spirit, He will always answer that prayer. But there are many people walking around with prideful ideas. They say that when God reveals Himself to me, then I'll make some type of decision or they expect God to meet them with certain expectations. But in fact, we have to come before God with a humble and contrite heart. And you see, when you do so, when you invite Jesus into your heart, He reveals Himself to you. He reveals that He is the creator of all things, that He is God, that He comes to dwell in every person who accepts Him, that He will give you a new heart, a new life, take away your past, and give you a hope and a future in which He blesses you. God has good things in store for those who humble themselves before Him. And you see, when you invite Christ into your heart, then you are prepared to die. And more importantly, you're prepared to live. Because by the power of the Spirit of God dwelling in you, you have wisdom and guidance and strength to live this life. You don't have to be afraid of anything not afraid of death or any other thing in this world, that in the boldness that Christ gives you, you can live a life that matters. So I encourage you this day, be prepared. Ask Jesus into your heart. Ask Him to forgive you of your sin, to fill you with His Holy Spirit, to make you a new creation in Him, and watch what wondrous things He will do.